All right then, guys. So today we're going to be looking at percents. How do we easily get a percent? So my question number one says find six percent of 107, and then six percent of 107 is what? The way we're going to do this. First, let me write the percent as a decimal. So the way we usually do that is, let me write down the six, because it's for six percent. We know that the point is after the six. The way we write a, a percent as a decimal, move the decimal place two places to the left. So move it two places to the left. In this case, I'm going to add an extra zero. So if I had it after the six, if I move it two places to the left, I finish with 0 0.06. So I wrote that as a decimal, and I'm going to multiply this with 107. And then I'm just going to multiply them up. That's all we got to do. So 0 0.06, so that's 6%. 0 0.06 times 107, it gives me 6.42. So I get 6.42. Let's round this to one decimal place. So for, since we're going to round it for one decimal place, I look at the second decimal place, which is a two. Because it's too small, I ignore it. So I'm just going to call this 6.4. Right? If that number, instead of a two, was a bigger number, like five or more, then I would have called this 6.5. Right? When it's too small, the second number is too small, you ignore it. If it's big enough, you add one more. That's all you do. Looking at question number two. What is 3% of 11.4? 3%, once again, I write down my 3. I have my decimal at the end. Move it two places to the left. Add a 0 if you need to. So I'm going to have 0 0.03 multiplied by 11.4. So 0 0.03 times 11.4. According to, to the calculator, I get 0.342. 0 0.342. I look at the second decimal number because it's small. Right? Four or less is small. Then I'm going to ignore these and I'm just going to call this 0 0.3. The number, once again, would have been big. I would have called it 0 0.4. Let me do skip a few questions. Let me take a look at question number 21. It is 21. Okay, looking at 21, 185%. So again, the way I write a, per, a percent into a decimal, move the decimal two places to the left. So in this case is 1.85. And I'm going to multiply this by 47. I'm going to go 1.85 times 47. It gives me 86, according to the calculator, it gives me 86.95. So I look at this number, big enough, right, five or more, so I have to increase this one by a little bit more. Do me a favor and do not call the 86.10. Because we see 86.9, do not call it 86.10. Because 86.10 is the same thing as 86.1. So you just made it smaller. Instead of bringing it up, you made it smaller. So because the 9 cannot go to 10, this one pushes the 6 up a little. So I'm going to call this 87.0. Right? The 5, once again, push up the 9. But the 9 is the, the biggest digit, digit that we can find. So the 9, since it has to go up, it pushes the 6. I said do not call it 86.10. In this case, it's 87. Okay, the 9 ends up pushing the 6. All right, so that's what we do in that one. Now, any questions? No questions? All right, let me take a roll for the test.